Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can take advantage of one of the most valuable tools in Excel, the GoTo Special Dialog Box. Here's a picture of the GoTo Special Dialog Box and notice the wide range of cell content or cell formatting that you can quickly select. Remember that before you can perform an action on a cell or a range of cells in Excel, you first must make a selection. So for example, if I wanted to quickly select all of the cells on this worksheet, and I'm going to repeat on this worksheet because GoToSpecial is active worksheet specific. When I want to find all of the cells on this active worksheet that contain formats, I can use GoToSpecial. So if you're using Excel 2007, Excel 2010, on the Home tab of the ribbon, come over here in the Editing group. And in the drop-down menu under Find and Select, choose Go To. Now, this will work in all versions of Excel. In Excel 2003, you can use the Edit menu, Go To, to bring up this dialog box. Or you can get here by using the keyboard shortcut, Control-G or F5. What you want to do is you want to select the special command. So this opens up that dialog box. And by default, the first setting that's selected is comments. So I want to select all the cells on this active worksheet that contain comments for the purpose of performing an action. Perhaps I want to apply formatting to those cells. So cells that contain comments, the comment is indicated by this little red diamond in the upper right corner. Well, let's just say I've got tons of comments and it's really hard for me to spot uh, this little red diamond. So you see by selecting those cells and then performing an action, formatting those cells, go to special make this an easy job. You can also use go to special for editing purposes or auditing purposes. So for example, if I want to find all the cells on this active worksheet that contain constant values, I can use go to special. This time I'm going to use the control G keyboard shortcut to open up the go to dialog box. Remember to click special. Now notice over here that when we click constants that we get a choice for well what kind of constant values do you want to look at. In this case I want to look at only the constant values that are numeric on this worksheet. Click OK. So I have my inputs for the sales but also notice over here that somebody has hard-coded a value in there. So instead of using a formula which is what we have in the cell above and the cell below somebody accidentally or maliciously typed in a hard-coded value. So you see that's a terrific way to be able to audit your worksheet. We can also quickly go to objects. Again, that's one of the choices over here. Now an object could be a picture, which is what I have over here. It could be a chart or it could be a text box. Now before I go any further, since I'm going to be using uh, this command all throughout the lesson, rather than remembering to go to the Home tab and moving all the way over here into the Editing group, what I want to do is I want to bring this command menu closer to my working order. So if you right mouse click any command on any ribbon in Excel and choose Add to the Quick Access Toolbar, now that drop down command menu is added to the Quick Access Toolbar. So I want to take a look at this further. Remember we had the Go To which opens the Go To dialog box. Control G, it's Function 5, if you're in Excel 2003, the Edit menu and then Go To. What was added new in Excel 2007 is the dr drop down menu to open up the Go To Special dialog box. So in the dialog box what I want to do for this active sheet is I want to select all of the objects and click OK. So three objects are highlighted, the picture, the chart, and the text box. You can use the tab key to cycle between those active objects that were selected or shift tab to move back in reverse order. All right, let's come over here and take a look at some other ways that we can use go to special. I showed you constants, but we also have the ability to look for formulas. And only when you use the Go To Special dialog box can you narrow down your choices. Let me illustrate. I want to be able to find the text formulas only. 
So if I come over and remember I move this to the quick access toolbar and choose formulas, it's going to choose all the cells that contain formulas. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to open up the go to special dialog box so that within formulas, I can narrow my focus to text formulas only. So now only those cells that contain text formulas and text formulas use the ampersand to join together text strings. Now, if I want to find only those cells that contain numeric formulas, again, I could choose any blank cell or I could narrow it down into a range. In this case, I'm going to have a blank cell and I'm going to, uh, once again, use my drop down. I want to open up the go to special dialog box and I want to be able to narrow down the formulas to only those formulas that contain numeric values. So again, this is a copy over from the previous sheet. So remember in the previous worksheet, I looked for constant values. This time I'm looking for numeric formulas. So it's really very easy for me to see that I have a potential problem here. I need to correct this and make this cell into a formula and not a constant hard coded value. Now, notice that we also have the ability to select the current region and the current array. Now, there are many of the go to special uh, commands that also have a very convenient, very useful keyboard shortcuts. So, for example, if I want to select all of the cells in the current region, notice where my active cell is. And if I use the keyboard shortcut Control A, it allows me to select all of those cells. Control A selects all of the cells in the current region. Down here, I have a data table. You can see the little uh, curly braces, uh, uh, brackets, uh, braces around there that this is a, a data table. Data tables use arrays. So in this case, if I wanted to see the current array, remember where my cell is selected as the active cell, go to special, select the current array, and click OK. So now it has selected the entire array. This is a very, very powerful tool. When you inherit a new worksheet from somebody, you may be surprised at how bloated the worksheet size is. And you say, that's, that's odd. So I like to be able to find the last cell in the worksheet that has either content or formatting. So notice that one of the choices here for the go to special is the last cell. So I put text over here. I'm hoping that Excel will say, yes, indeed, that is the last cell. So let's bring up the go to special dialog box. What I want to do is I want to select the last cell and click OK. Now you might be surprised to see that it selected one cell to the right of that cell. And that's because notice over here in column uh, U, I have applied a comment in the column. So the last cell, Excel looks in the column that contains the last entry and then down uh, vertically to look into the row. Now, this is very useful. Let's just say that we're off in some remote area of the worksheet, like over here. And somebody had originally typed in one, two, three, but before they deleted it, they had applied formatting. They applied bold formatting and italic formatting. Now they decided to delete it. Now let's use Control Home to come back here to cell A1 and use our go to special. So when I come in here and I use go to special and I select the last cell, click OK. Look where it takes me. And nothing appears to be in that cell. Remember that when you delete content, one, two, three, that's content. But remember, I had also applied formatting. Deleting a cell does not delete the underlying formatting. So if you've applied any special formatting, even though you delete the content, the formatting remains in there. So obviously, what we would want to do is come over here on the home tab of the ribbon, the editing group, and we want to clear all from that cell. So using the last cell is a great little tool over here. And notice also that we can use uh, go to special to find the cells that contain conditional formatting, the cells that contain data validation. So for example, over here, I started to apply data validation pick from a list, but I did not apply it to all the cells in the group. So if I want to see which cells contain data validation, from the drop down menu, I want to be able to see the cells that contain conditional formatting, or I want to see the cells that contain 
data validation. So notice that I did not apply data validation to all the cells. Let's come back here over here where I have conditional formatting to be able to format the cells that are above average. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking it's very suspicious. So again, think of uh, go to special form from an auditing standpoint. Come over here and what I want to be able to do is I want to see the cells that have conditional formatting to it. So I wanted to get the average for each month in the range, but either I was sloppy or someone else was applying conditional formatting. They didn't realize you have to select all of the cells in the range before you apply the rule. So it's a terrific auditing uh, opportunity for you as well. Now, we also have the ability to find visible cells only. This is especially important when you want to copy over the result of a collapsed subtotal. So over here, notice that I have uh, supplied or, or applied a subtotal to this range of cells. When I collapse it down to the executive summary, many people are frustrated that they'll go through and they'll make the selection They'll use control C to make a copy. And then when they come over here and use control V to paste it, they say, well, wait a minute. It, it, that's not what I wanted. It gave me all of the details. So I use control Z to undo that. Here's the trick. And here's where the visible cells only comes into play. So first off, select the cells and then use the uh, go to special dialog box. And remember, I copied this command onto the quick access toolbar from the home tab of the ribbon in go to special select visible cells only so now you see this little blinder that's around the visible cells only and you'll see it even more when you click control c so you see how those little blinkers are in there so now what you're copying is the visible cells only and now when you come over here and you right mouse click and say paste or I'll use control V to paste it just make it a little bit easier that's what you're getting you're pasting the visible cells only notice that I put a comment over here that a quick way to get to the go to special visible cells only is using alt and the semicolon so there's a brief introduction to how you can use the go to special uh, tools in Excel in, in all versions, you can use the edit menu, go to if you're using Excel 2003 or earlier, or you have several choices of being able to access the go to special via keyboard shortcuts, control G or F5, remembering to click special. So remember to, of course, have a cell selected on the active worksheet. I'll use F5. That's go to, go to special comes up that way. And we also have many choices from the Home tab of the ribbon over here in the Find and Select. And remember that you can right mouse click any command and have it added on to the Quick Access Toolbar. And I will look for you in the next lesson.